Hey Spirits, Dark here, and we're gonna be farming some money, which is Meika here in this game, Ghostwire Tokyo. And if you're interested, let me show you how. The first thing that you need to know is that we need an Omikoji effect. If you don't know what an Omikoji is, these are special buffs in the game that you can get at random if you pay for about 200 Meika. Now there are only three places that you can actually get it from, Yunshiruyama Shrine, in Onten Shrine, and lastly, Kirigaoka Shrine. So let's head to Onten Shrine, simply because you can buy the Omikuji effect, which is very, very close to where you spawn. So from here, head straight, and to your right, it is going to be beside the Shrine's cat. But I highly suggest before doing this one, please save the game. Because if for some reason you don't get the right effect, you can just load your game and start over. For example, here, we did not get the right Omikuji effect. We got the Suikichi, when instead, we want Shokichi. So if this happens, load your pre-saved game. So since we're starting over, I want you guys to take a look at the amount of funds that I have. Remember that we're gonna be comparing the before and after later. So now we got the Omikuji effect that we wanted, Shokichi, which again doubles the amount of Meika that you get. So now let's head to the location where we're gonna start, and that is going to be in Yashin Shrine. And because it's a run, like literally a run, Yashin is just the starting point. So once you arrive at the shrine, head back and go to the Tengu so that you can actually go up, and then follow my path as I head outside of the vicinity. Okay, now that we're approaching the exit, I want you to go to the left side first because there's gonna be two small jars which of course gives us Meika. For the amount of Meika that you get, it's actually random but the minimum is quite high. Next, proceed to the dump truck over here, smack those jars and then we'll head to the next part which is going to be under the Shibuke sign. Now if this is your first run, that is okay. Take your time to know where we're going so you can just pretty much like replay or head back to a certain point of the video so that you can check where we really are. This is our first Golden Manaki Neko, which gives us a large amount of Meika. Next, outside to the left, we have two more. And then after that, let's proceed through this construction site. There's no need for us to actually stop here unless there are enemies, so please do take care of those enemies. And then after that, we're gonna be doing a hard right over here. Now we have two more on this dump truck. And then after that, jump over to see two more over there. So you can try to shoot it, of course, but it's actually really hard to aim. So I just usually just smack it. So there's two more here in this dump truck. Then afterwards, we're gonna head back to where we started. Why? You'll know why. For now, just keep running and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And of course, give me a like if you're liking this one. Anyways, let's head back. And then once you go in over in this entrance, look up and you'll see the Tengu. Grapple all the way up there and head to this area over here so that we can just drop again to see me fail at shooting these jars. So again, I'd rather smack them, but of course, done with haste. Now jump and glide to the next rooftop over here and then carefully jump over this area because if you fall, then yeah, that would really suck. But you know what? You're still going to be going down anyway. So now jump down and do a superhero landing like Black Widow and do your karate chops on those golden pots. Next, let's head straight to that black car-ish. And over there, please look at the left up. There's gonna be another Tengu that we can grapple up. And to your right, jump over to the other building and then on to the top of that building. So another tip, you can smack almost like the center of those two pots. You will normally hit both. Now once you're here, prepare to glide all the way to this building over here because at the back, there's going to be another Manaki Neko. So unlike the small ones, we should not leave because if we leave way too early, the money will not go to you. Next, jump over here to get another golden cat. So just an advice, if this is your first time again, take your time in searching for these areas. And then when you're ready, you can just load back to your previous save game and then start this one all over again. So now head back and then jump over here and get these two more pots. Now head to the right side and then we're gonna be seeing two more just before the red minivan. Okay, so I miss. I'm sorry about that. But again, that is pretty hard to actually hit. Now go to the left side of this building over here and then jump over the fence to the left. There's gonna be another Manaki Neko over here. So since we're actually waiting, you can just pretty much do your squats here so that your thighs will not be chafing while running. Now head up to the portable pod, literally, and then jump over the fence once again. Head to that Tori gate and then, of course, we're just gonna continue until we see two more. And that's another miss. 
Anyway, it's continuing straight even though it actually smells good here with Okonomiyaki and all of that. Now over here, turn left past the Tori Gate all the way to that lamppost and then look up once again to see another Tengu. Once you're up here, look to the left, not right, and then over there, jump and glide to reach the three jars. Once you're done, we're gonna head back down over here to get three more. So take your time in smacking them, making sure that you've gotten all of them before you move out. Now continue to move, passing by Clark Kent's dressing room, and then over here, left, and then right to this alleyway. Now there are going to be dogs here as well in our run. You may choose to actually give them dog food which rewards you with makeup but it will take a little bit of time. But again, that is your prerogative. So technically there's going to be like three dogs, one more over there. And then let's head to this area. Now there's going to be two over here which you can try to uh, hit. And yes, I've hit it. And then let's proceed to the next area by passing through this familiar place over here. And just close to that white truck, there's going to be a Tengu up there. Once you're here, head up to the top as we will use this building as our platform to reach the other building with two more jars. Next, let's head to the back and then to the top. And then on the next building, please jump and glide to the other two more pots. Okay, that's done. Face the direction where the hoarder's house is. Fly and glide until you see three more jars. Now we've reached the fork in this area. Now you can actually head up there if you have the certain ability where you can summon a Tengu to grapple up there. There's gonna be two more golden pots over there, but if you don't have that ability, then you can continue this way. So normally there's gonna be enemies over here, so clear that out. And then we're gonna continue running, heading back to the Tengu that we actually just used. Now this time we're heading to that area. Grab that two jars and then head over here. Fly so that you will not fall. Then head up to the building next to us. Now the next area we need to actually glide to. So jump from here and then you'll be able to see those three jars. So just to let you know again, with small jars you can just hit it and run. Now let's head up to the house over here. And then we're gonna glide on that building over there. Make sure to press X like crazy once you've hit the edge so that you can climb up. And then from here, let's take the Tengu up. But we're not high enough, so head up once more. And for a second here, I am a bit lost, but no worries. So we're just gonna head up over here and jump to the next building. Then from here, use the Tengu once again. And if you were able to see that, there is another Manaki Neko for us. Now, enjoy the view, enjoy the buildings, enjoy the crimson moon. And then forget about it because we're gonna head to the next area. Now glide to the Skyway and then head to that yellow bus over there. So while we're running over here, I just want to apologize for me being way too talkative because I just don't want for this video to be boring. Anyways, head to the top of this yellow bus and then fly while praying not to fall. Take those two jars and then head to the left side going up to the next building. So from here, you might have caught a glimpse of another Manaki Neko, but let us go up first, get that Tengu over there, and then we're gonna be moving around to get that Manaki Neko at the back of that billboard. So continue your exercise over here, and then make sure that you've gotten all of those makeup before heading down. Now once you head down, there's gonna be three more jars for you being offered by the Yabisu Bank. Yes, they're just giving out money. I wish it's the same with the real life, but no. So anyways, get these two more jars over here and then proceed to the right of this blue car. Now this part, you may actually get stuck. So make sure to jump properly and then get another of this golden cat. Now time to be a sheep and jump over these fences. Once you're out, look to the right side and then on the top, there's going to be another Tengu. Take that, of course, and get two more jars and then head to the building across of you. At the back of this building, there's gonna be two more jars, so please do get that. And once you're done, head back to the same building where we just jump off, so we could proceed to the next area. From here, head to the back, and then go up of this tower, and then get two more. And from this point, you're probably wishing enough, or maybe you want more. Well, there's more. Just drop down here to receive another waving cat. 
Now continue this path because that's the only path that we have right now until you reach the main road. Next, let's go left from here so you'll be getting two more jars and then on top of that, you'll be actually hearing another screeching <laughs> Tengu. Go there and take a look at that hovering bike. Now jump and glide to the building at the back of it and then we're gonna be taking the stairs. Finally, which I actually don't like. Climb up, which kind of feels like forever. Head up once again to get two more jars. Now, if you can see that green graffiti over there, jump towards that area and then drop down here. Okay, we're, we're, we're kind of stuck. Well, there you go. Okay, so we got another golden kitty cat. Now, continue moving this path, jumping over those trash for, for whatever reason. Grab that two pots of gold so we can proceed to the next area, which is at the back of that building, which gives you three more pots of gold. Next, head straight. There's going to be a dog over there if you want to actually give the dog food. But we're going to look up. There's going to be another Tengu. Head up there. And then head to that red brick something over there. And then jump to the next building. And then as you can see at the top, there's going to be another Tengu. Grapple over there and head to that platform. And then we're going to be getting a combination of a Manaki Neko and two golden pots. So I think that is really rewarding. But are we done? I think we're not yet done. So we are now going to drop down over here and then drop down once again on that truck. Clearly I've missed, but anyways, get those two pots and then head down to that alley over there. There's gonna be two more over here. And then after that, look on the left side, there's gonna be a really suspicious alleyway which just gives you three more pots. Which like KK said, most likely a payment for the parking meter. Now move away from the parking meter, look up, just to check if there's more Tengu. There is not, so please follow this way. And then head down there. As you can see, there's going to be a black silver-ish car. Go on top of it and look up. There's going to be Batman over there. Please grapple over there. And to your back, there's going to be two more pots of gold, which you need to actually drop in order for you to get it. Now from here, follow where I'm actually gliding to. Once you drop down, there's gonna be two jars on the right and then two more jars on the left. Now head to the left as we actually going to circle this building because there's gonna be more. With that said, there's gonna be two more in this dump truck. And then on the left side, there's going to be another Manaki Neko, which is at the end of this part over here. Perfect. Now grab all those coins and then drop down because we're going to head to another Tengu. Over here. Now once you're here, I want you to fly all the way over there and head up to the last building. So get those two more pots of gold and then we're almost done. But of course, I know that you're tired so you want some cuteness in order for us to actually like, uh, really complete it. So we have two more dogs over here which I do suggest giving them some dog food so that they can give you more money. Also, don't forget to tell them not to eat too fast because that's what you've been telling them all these time. A thing that you have to remember though when doing this farming is that the golden jars will respawn after I think two hours hours while the golden cat spawns every six hours or so so that's gonna be a long time and when i mean hours these are in-game hours not real life hours so do this run then do your side missions or your main mission and then come back and do this one all over again if you want to continue the farming so let's check how much we got and damn, we've exceeded 2.5 mil. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Now we can reach that, of course, with the help of the equipment we have. So there are two beads that we really need to have. One is the prosperity beads, which doubles the amount of Mecha that you get from the yellow ether crystals. That will be the pots of gold as well as the golden Manaki Nekos. To get the prosperity charm, you need to unlock Chishima Shrine. So that means you need to cleanse that Hori Gate and then you'll be able to receive the said beads. Next is the Astral Beads. Now, I already have it at level 3, but you will still get a lot of Mecha even at level 1. Now, you can get your first Astral Beads by completing 3 quests 
from the musical Nekomata, which is found in Matsumi Shrine. So if you want to know the location of the relics for your musical Nekomata, you can actually check this video up here or in the description down below if it's available. The next two astral beads depends on where you go first. Now, let's go to Dolphin Attic Nekomata. You'll be able to get it from this Nekomata after completing six relic quests. And the last one is with the Archaeology Nekomata, which you will need to complete all of its quests in order for you to get that astral beads. Aside from the beads, you will also need specific charms. And one of them is the Tanuki Hardiness Charm. Now, this one you can actually get if you have located 10 Tanukis. And this charm doubles the duration of your buffs. Next, we have the Tanuki Hardiness Charm 2. Now, this one you can only get if you have located all of the Tanukis. Now, this one triples the duration of the temporary buffs. Now, I'm not sure if both charms are multiplicative, but even so, both of them together gives you enough time to find those Meka. And that's why I highly suggest looking for those Tanukis. And with that said, you can check out the location of all the Tanukis in this video over here. And if you're not interested, you can check out my other videos over here.